This is the last step in solving your Skube Ultimate, the final video in the tutorial. This final step is going to be rotating the centerpieces so that they all are correctly oriented. Now, once again, as I mentioned at the very beginning of this tutorial, you only need to learn one algorithm and just apply it in different ways. So this algorithm to switch all of these is the original algorithm I taught you, but doing it six times, which may seem like quite a lot, but it can be performed very quickly. When performing this algorithm six times, it will turn this center, this center, this center, and this center 180 degrees. Now, if you have a very intuitive thinking mind, you should be able to figure it out on your own from here. So, if I were to hold the cube like this, and per the cube ultimate like this, and perform that algorithm six times, I would have these two correct, because they are not correct, and then I have these two not correct. So there are, all, there are many cases that this could be in. Could be two opposite, could be two here, it could be four. So in this case, I'll be showing you this one. This is the hardest one to solve. What you want to do with this is you want to put one of them on the left side, that is not oriented correctly, and one of them on the back, like this. So now when you apply that algorithm, this one will be solved, and these three will become unsolved, or flipped 180. And then you can turn it, and these four will all be not solved, and you can perform the algorithm one more time to flip it. So, if you have two adjacent like this, you want to hold them on the left and back, and perform the algorithm six times. Two, three, four, five, six. Now, as you can see, this one is now correct, but this one, this one, and this one are not correct. Now, these four are not correct, and you can go on and finish solving your Skube Ultimate. Now, I would, like, I would like to show you the case where the two opposite ones are flipped and all the other ones are correct, but this one is very simple to do. I will get to this case. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. One not solved, four solved, and one not solved here. This is very simple. You just place one on the front and one on the back, and you do that algorithm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this one is solved, but these three aren't. And when you bring it like this, these two opposite ones and the front and up are not solved. Now you just perform that algorithm six times, and you have solved your Skube, ult skube Ultimate. I would like to mention one last thing before you go on and solve your Skube Ultimate. The way you have seen me perform this algorithm, R prime L R R prime L R L prime, the only reason it looks like I'm holding it like this, so my one hand can do it faster. Because trying to use your left hand will get kind of confusing, you'll miscount, or you'll go backwards on one on accident. So I would suggest holding it with one down and one across, like this. And then doing R prime L, R L prime. It's the same thing, just holding it different. Two. Three. four, five, and this is six. And there you have solved your skew bolt bit. If you have any questions or comments uh, pertaining to this tutorial, the algorithms taught, or the general method, feel free to send me a message, which I will reply to as soon as I can, to answer your questions. Otherwise, I hope you've learned how to solve your skew bolt bit. And you should be able to average as low as a minute and 30 seconds, if not faster, with this method.